uh, Punk Revolution now. Hey everybody, today we're going to be reviewing Kai Wiston's newest album, No World As Good As Mine. So Kai Wiston, for those of you who are unfamiliar, he released his debut album last year titled Kai Wiston Bitch. And that was a kind of like a deconstructed club, wonky, glitchy sort of electronic album that's like a lot of fun and crazy and fun and you can dance to it and it blows your mind. It was one of those deconstruct deconstructed club is a genre that in my opinion is like really popping right now. This I just see more and more deconstructed club albums just topping the charts. Anyways, so he released his second album, freaking No World As Good As Mine, and he's blending together electronic music that's like a danceable, deconstructed club, but then there's like experimental rock elements in it, and it's blowing my mind. What? They're blending genres! That's a mind blower! Let's start by taking a look at the cover. That is a deep philosophical cover. He's staring out into nature thinking about life. It is so beautiful. Holy shit, my cat just knocked over a lot of stuff. Anyways, I will deal with that later. I love you, Romy. You can do no wrong. So, philosophical cover. He's supposed to be making wonky, mind-blowing electronic music to dance to. I don't want to sit down and think like a philosopher, but that's exactly what Kai Wiston is doing. He's being a thoughtful, deconstructed club artist. So what's basically going on here is as Deconstructed Club becomes a genre that becomes more and more popular, more and more utilized by different artists, we're gonna inevitably see it be blended, blended together with different genres. So we're gonna see Deconstructed Club meets Experimental Rock. Pretty cool, have never really seen that done before. Um, so Kai Wiston, way to go. You're kind of like an innovator here, I guess you could say. So he's doing that, and in the first few songs, it's actually really cool because these songs are freaking headbangers. You can dance to it. You can really just like groove with it. And then you hear those like rock instruments incorporated in it, and that's pretty fucking cool. And then as the album moves forward uh, towards the second half, he seems to kind of just decrease a little bit on the danceable elements of it and increase more on the post-rock elements of it. We're definitely going to hear some freaking post-rock uh, motifs in here, like the freaking spoken word. Um, reminds me a lot of Godspeed You Black Emperor. Uh, so that's a pretty cool blend of ideas. And, um, but honestly though, like by like the second half of this album, I am just so fucking not really into this album at all because these experiments, while they are, you know, kind of like the first of their kinds maybe, um, they aren't very well composed, aren't very well executed. The songs really are super aimless. They just kind of meander around without any sort of, any sort of like song structure that is like super enjoyable. And it just feels so like, okay, there's some details here, but like, what am I supposed to be listening to? There's not, it's, it's like, style over substance. You got a cool style by blending these things together. We haven't heard blended the book together before, but that doesn't make it automatically a great thing. You got to do something with the So he's using really interesting tools, but he's not doing anything with the tools to make an actually interesting song. I mean, like the song like Lovers, for instance, you can go listen to it. It's just, it's like, what is that, dude? It's just not so good. And then like the whole second half of the album, I think his strengths are making bangers, EDM bangers. So he's got this and he wants to explore more of post-rock, but the post-rock in this album kind of sucks, if I'm being honest. So it's kind of like, damn, that's a pretty disappointing thing. So maybe he needs to just refine this experiment a bit, figure out how to make it work better. But for now, it's a pretty sloppy album, kind of all over the place. Not Lots of it's just like, okay, this is, sounds like an idea, idea but it's not really much of an interesting song. So I'm giving this a 5.5 out of 10. Pretty cool potential here. Wasn't executed as well as I think it could be. Um, I don't know, folks. I'm being honest with you. I see, I see through the fucking hype and give it how it is. Punk Revolution now, 5.5. 5. 